I'm the resource manager or personnel manager then for NPL, but I do all the, the hiring. Um, I was recruiting around the Sydney area looking for new merchandisers um, October last year. Um, Nova approached me from an ad they saw in the local paper, which is where I then connected um, to Darren through Nova. He then put Christine forward to me, um, who turned out to be a, an ex excellent employee. She started off with us one day a week and she's now at the stage where she's merchandising for us between two or three days a week um, and doing very well. I've worked for MPL and uh, I've been with MPL now for 10 months. Darren being then the person that I believe placed Christine with us, um, followed up through into the stores. Um, he was there for Christine's first shift. He's been there for training throughout. We've had a couple of um, extra functions that we've introduced into her role, which went into the ordering part of things, which she was a little bit nervous about. Um, Darren was there to support that the whole way along. Uh, he assisted with that. He's met me in stores. Uh, we've had contact at different um, milestones in Christine's employment, as in when she would hit 10 weeks or 12 weeks, whatever it may be, I would meet up with Darren. Um, we'd meet at store level. We'd then actually meet with Christine and Darren as well, or separately with Darren too. Um, and if I was had any issues, he was always there available to, to sort anything out. We didn't have any issues with Christine. We just found that she just went from, from strength to strength and actually developed as she went along. The previous work that I've done before um, working for MPL is that I used to work in the food line for a lot of years, over 30 years. So I've worked with um, food quite a bit, I've actually been around people quite a bit. Um, I really enjoy being around people, I'm a people's person, I love talking to people. Um, the other thing is too that um, um, Working in the plant section is something that I've always loved in my life. I really enjoy plants. Um, I have a beautiful garden myself. Um, she's very keen. She is not afraid to learn. Oh, she was a little bit afraid to learn new things, not knowing that she could deal with it or not, but um, she's overcome that. She um, will take on new things, she learns new things, and she's very committed to her job. She has a lot of pride in her work. Uh, her standards are very high. Um, which is the reason why I could say that she's such a good worker. With the illness that I have, which is a mental illness, which is bipolar, um, I found it very hard over the years um, working with different people because they couldn't fully understand the problem at all um, until you have basically know somebody or you've been through it yourself, it's something you really don't understand. Uh, so with what was happening with a lot of my jobs, um, because of the illness, I just found um, people weren't very understandable at all. We had some issues there where she thought she might not be able to, to deal with some aspects of the job, uh, but it turned out that that was more probably a lack of confidence from her side, um, and all that needed was a little bit of support then from myself and Darren to, to get her to realise that I can do this, I'm okay with this. Um, and she actually took the whole thing on board so well that she actually devised a, um, a, a reporting sheet that I have taken on board and actually used from other merchandisers as well to use. And she actually initiated that and that was something she was very nervous about. And she took the whole thing and just sort of grabbed it and ran with it, which was great. Getting up and coming to work um, with um, Darren, my work coordinator, who got me the job um, with MPL, um, I love it. I'm happy. Um, I'm coming to work, like I said, I'm outdoors. Um, I'm around people all the time. And I think by doing something like that, you're going to enjoy a lot more than by being at home and doing nothing. It would have to be the follow-up. Whereas the other one would place a person with me uh, and have no contact after that. They would probably ring me to contact me to see if I had any other placements, any other jobs available, but they didn't actually follow up on an individual person to see how they were tracking and how they were going and if they needed anything else. That's the big difference. And if there's any time that I have a problem at all, I can always just ring Darren. And he's like a good friend as well, because he, as I said, he's very supportive. He's there to listen to you. He's there to help in any way. And, um, so that's where I found that if anyone needs any help like that, if they have a disability in any way, please think of NOVA. Yeah, I would have no hesitation in recommending NOVA at all. Uh, the backup of Darren has been excellent. Um, he was able to actually fit among 
the people he had available to pull from, he could find staff that were then suitable to exactly what I needed. It's communication. I mean, I told him exactly what I wanted and he found the person that could fill those criteria perfectly. Um, and I mean, there's no such thing as a person out there that is going to fit um, every criteria 100%. And it doesn't matter whether you come from a Nova with a disability type side of it or anybody else. At least they're honest and upfront about what's going on. Um, and their support, I found, was just great because it's just ongoing, continuous. Yeah, last year with the council, Camden Council, I actually got um, Best Backyard, um, which it was absolutely awesome because um, all these years that I've dealt with plants and worked with plants and had beautiful gardens, um, that was something that I was really impressed being, um, by winning something for doing something like that. Music